Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. It's almost six days away from the new month, so it's of course time to do the monthly thing that I always do, where we're gonna look at what's coming up for the upcoming month of October, both events and banners. I've changed that now, because sometimes someone complained and said banners are not... <laughs> I called it events, and then he got on my case saying events and banners are two different things, and I said, you put more thought into this than I have. So now it's events and banners. So let's go right into it. Uh, this is a pretty easy month. I'm going to be 100% real with you. We've already started some of this. The Halloween comeback campaign has started. The one thing that I've... I've already done a video talking about the Liz's. So if you want to check that out, feel free to. Um, where I talk about, um, a lot of the Halloween Liz's and how I think they're all cool and they're probably need a little bit more buffs. But anyway, um, we should have a bunch of campaigns related to this. This is, this is just the start. I'm not sure if we're getting a line background, but we'll get the equivalent of that. Line not super big over here. Actually, is it? I don't know. Not compared to JP. Anyway, for, for part one of it, there should be a great suck friend points, one half strengthening APs, and the following. Part two should give the strengthenings for Liz, 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 and Liz. Uh, da Vinci Workshop update should be there with Amazon as CEO and Summertime Hunter right here. Full screen MPs, which I'm pretty sure we already have, and double EXP campaigns for the Liz's as well. And then in part three, there's a login bonus, which are just apples, two silver, and then a bunch of gold. Five. Enhancement campaigns for all these servants that you see right here, which are going to be a part of the new Halloween event that's going to be coming up. I'm not sure if soon is the right word, but it is coming up. Um, and then we got the new Liz that is coming with the uh, new event. Cinder Cinderella Liz. Cinderella. And yeah, and then we have the Halloween trilogy itself. Where you'll be able to experience the story and get caught up on the, the th most thrilling of arcs in Fago, The Halloween Liz arc. <laughs> As we continue to get a Liz in every single class until there is no more classes left to give Liz a new class. Um, yeah, there should be a summoning campaign related to this that features Cleopatra, Ahsoka Behime, and Vlad. Uh, should you summon on this? If the banner stays the way it is, unless you're super into any of these three, probably not. It's a very easy skip. But there are CEs related to here. So you'll be able to get a lot of the cool Halloween CEs related to it, which is a Petite Devil, the Mash one, uh, the Halloween Arrangement, uh, Jack-O-Lantern, uh, Dangerous Beasts, the Witch of the Moonlight Night, the Count Romani Archiman's Hospitality, uh, Trick or Treatment, uh, Phantom Knight, Friend from Wonderland, and those should be all on there. If you're curious what they do, MP generation, start MP, gain taunt. Apparently, uh, someone was telling me that this uh, craft essence is actually super good. And there's not a lot of craft essences that actually give taunt because of how useful they can be as a way to <laughs> create a shield, very basically, of a person. And then have them die, and then boom, you're good. Which is very true. Now that I think about it, there's not a lot of taunt CEs that I can think of. Let me see if they'll show me more of them. Taunt up. Is there a lot of them? Outrage, Grand New Year, Guda Guda Poster Guard. There's not, there's only four. Huh. So if you're actually, if you're looking, if you're legitimately looking, I didn't even realize that a lot of this is like, I have a, I think I have all four of these. Actually, I might be missing Halloween Arrangement. I have to double check on that. But if you wanted a specific taunt CE, which would be helpful for a lot of challenge quest type stuff or something else similar to it, or something in, in general in a way that you want taunt to give to any servant, that you know, and that is basically just being sent out there to die. The Halloween arrangement is for you. Jacko Lantern, Dangerous Beast, which I have max limit broken, I'm pretty sure. It's either that or Trick or Treatment. I have to double check. <laughs> pretty sure it's Dangerous Beast, though. I went, I think that one I was looking for it particular. Uh, Witch of the Moonlit Night, which features Vinci, uh, which I've always thought this art, while good, has always confused me because I thought she just had a really long body until I realized that's her arm. I never saw the arm. I just thought it was something completely different. Romani, Phantom Knight, Trick or Treatment. There's nothing I have to say about Trick or Treatment. If in general, I still think and this is still probably true. Trick or Treatment was the reason to summon for on this banner. I don't even know what this does, but it's worth getting. 
So there you go. If you really like the art of trick or treatment, then I would suggest it's worth it to summon for Ahsoka Behime, which I think is the one that is uh, related to it. That is correct. <laughs> Feel free to go for it. Chase your dreams. Uh, next. That was supposed to be a pre-release campaign. I don't want to get... Uh, yeah, I already went over this. And a game update, which we already had these game updates, I assume, by this point. Again, a lot of the game update stuff is really weird because some of it we've already gotten and stuff. Next, the Fate Grand Carnival second season Blu-ray DVD and release commemorative campaign. I don't think we're getting this, but I'm going to be positive we're going to get something related to this because this actually has a new CE. Uh, the Crystallization of Winter, as along with Erish as well. So, they're, in general, we're not skipping an Erish banner. An Erish banner. Um, that'd be insane to do. It'd be very mean to do to Erish fans, and they're already suffering enough not getting a new swimsuit version of Erish. Erish Coggle. Anyway. Uh, I would actually not be surprised if they just decided to add her to the Halloween banner, and then just have it be that but you know it, who knows we'll see what it does but anyway this comes with a special quest which is related to the episode of fake grand carnival where her and he may had a uh feet like a video off where they were just trying to get the most views off to each other it's where the immortal lines of holy shit come from and good shake it's great you should watch it uh and yeah summoning campaign it, it, it's amazing shake. My brother has corrected me. It is amazing shake. Uh, yeah, this has Irish Coggle in it. I don't need to tell you to summon on it. The people who are summoning on it have already decided to summon on it, and they have been planning for it for two years. Next, Halloween 2021 event. Uh, this is going to be the, the Halloween event. Finally coming back after two years. People rejoiced, a.k.a. me. I absolutely love those events, and I love Halloween, and I love everything related to it. I don't know very much about this event itself because, like I said, I usually keep it so I don't know that much so I can be surprised when the actual event comes out. But based on this, it looks like there's an event shot. It's points related. So there you go. Easy enough to guess what it is. If there's a points reward system, then you'll be grinding a whole buttload is what I'm taking from this. But there are going to be banners related to it. The summoning campaign, it features Jacques de Molay and Zenobia. Which is going to be the Foreigner, which is going to be the female version of Jacques. Um, we're not getting the man version ever, I think, because he's tra trapped in Arcade. But it's okay, because we have the female version. Uh, unless you're a fan of the man, like my brother is, and I know a lot of other people are. Unfortunate for you, but great for me, because I didn't really care that much about Jack. And then we have Zenobia as well, who I'm uh, about 50-50 on, if I can show the full art of it on here. Not sure, but we're, I'll deal with that when I have to actually summon for I actually do want to summon on this banner. I do like uh, Jack over here, but Zenobia, that's the one I actually want to try and get. And then there's limited craft essences, which are a theme to Halloween as always. Protagonista, featuring Shakespeare. White Maiden of the Silver Flowers, which features Art, art not Artoria, uh, Alt Altria. And, um, Small Cat's Rondo, which is Jack in a kitty cat costume. And then Summoning Campaign 2 related to this features everyone's favorite... Mm, features upcoming, uh, Star of Napoleon, Napoleon, along with, uh, Chevalier Dion and Bedivere. My favorite Frenchman is... He's English. Betty's English, right? Bedivere's English? He's not French, right? Okay, because he's on the he's on the French banner. <laughs> that's why I was like I was like that's dumb. There's no way that a, an English man is a Frenchman, but he is on the French banner because Napoleon and Chevalier are on it. But I assume there's no. I just it's literally two out of three of these dudes are French. Chevalier and Napoleon. This is for Halloween. And it also features Jack. So I'm I'm gonna. Ah, uh, that probably makes more sense. But the, there is a lot of French in here. And then Marie Antoinette is also involved in the story. I remember that much. Uh... No, she's not. No, she's not. She's Romanian, isn't she? Elizabeth Bath. She's Hungarian. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, that, 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 I know for a she's not English. She's just very posh. She's from the kingdom of Hungary, now Slokovia. She's very posh. She is They're very posh. posh people, except for Napoleon. Except for Napoleon, who's not who's not posh. He's, he's not in this posh form. He's no, in his. He has a very posh outfit. He does. He has the big hat. And if you want to get that big hat, then this is your chance to summon on it. It is the big hat banner. That is that. Then we have Fate Apocrypha Blu-ray disc. But we are not getting this. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get this CE, but it's not gonna be called this because it's not in America. We're not getting the Blu-ray box and to celebrate Fate Apocrypha. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Um, this, but this will have a singular summon ticket, as, long, as well as Omakasu Shiro's Phantom Thief outfit. That's why I know we're getting this, but it's not going to be called this. Uh, and this summon banner features a lot of the dudes from... Yep, Apocrypha. We got Astelfo, we got Jean, we got Omakasu, we've got uh, Semiramis, we got Fran, we got Mordred. If you were wondering why was Mordred during all those summon banners, here she is along with Fran and Jean. Um, along with them we have other raid ups such as Karna, we have Jack, we have other Jean, we have Siegfried, we have Atlanta, we have, not Atlanta, Atalanta. Uh, Chiron, Astolfo again, and Fran. And the brand of breakdown should look like this, both of the Astolfos together. Jean and Fran, uh, Karna and Siegfried, um, Omakasu and Chiron, Semiramis and Mo. Jean and Fran again. No, wow, they actually kept that one consistent against each other. And then Karna, Siegfried, and then it repeats until, for some reason at the end, it decides to throw in Jack and Atalanta together. And you have some the Apocrypha event CE banners as well. If you're a big fan of Fate Apocrypha, then this banner is for you. Obviously, some people are going to be summoning on this because some people really do want this Jean, who is a very good uh, AoE arts archer. Um, a lot of people like Astolfo. Well, I think a lot of people like the characters from... Oh, so I just realized Jack is in here, so you ignore me when I said randomly Jack's at the end. Um, I also like Jack in this. I like. I think actually a lot of these, these units are good. Um... Hmm... I would consider them good, but obviously some of these are also always on every banner, like Karna, Jack, Jean. You don't really need to go searching for them. Semiramis might actually be the weakest one on here, just because she's an AoE Buster Assassin, right? Not like a lot of use for that. In terms of the five stars, I'm not talking about fours. Fours are a different story. But anyway, that's the Apocrypha. If you like Apocrypha, um, I'm sorry, and this is the banner for you. Let's go! And the last thing that should be coming into... Actually, we already got this, didn't we? We started the month with this. Um, the main quest clear aid campaign. We started this already. Yeah, so we already have this. So that means that it's very likely we're going to get the other version of this then. Which means we should get... Uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> the... Huh. They are pushing stuff forward, so that makes me feel like, more than ever, you should be a little bit... They might push some of the story stuff, maybe so that we can actually have a December event that's in... Mm, I don't know. We do have to get to this, the, the Tungska Sanctuary in time. So I could see them pushing some stuff forward to the end of November. So something at the end of November was either Guda Guda or the 24 million download campaign. Hmm... I could definitely see 24 million download campaign maybe being moved to the end of October. Just so we have actually something to do in October. Um, but they could also do the same thing with we'll a good, good uh, 2020 rerun, to be honest. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, the main quest clear aid campaign. This would likely follow here. This would be at the end of October. That would make sense. So in which case, we would then get... Um, the 24 million download campaign basically at the exact same time because they're basically tied together. I think that would make sense for the end of October. Just ba I'm just like based off that we already have this and I'm just kind of looking at some of the other stuff like there's not that much to do in, o in October comparatively except for the list stuff. There's a lot of list stuff but that's basically it. So I could definitely see them moving this to the end of um, October, and then we'll go into Gouda Gouda, which will be all, all of November will be Gouda Gouda, and that's it. But yeah, that's what October is looking for this month. Uh, the month's almost over. There's not much time left for you to be saving 
for I guess for most time most people are back into saving mode. I would suggest that would be the smartest way to kind of go forward. Um, with New Year's coming around, that is obviously the a lot of reasons why someone would be waiting because they get Clan Sky of of darkness over light. But at the same time, light is also coming back. There's a lot of like crazy units that are actually coming back near the end of the month. Um, and obviously the big one is the Fey Lancelot, who is over here at the end, Milusane. She's somewhere here. I can't remember if it's clear quest campaign, maybe? Mm, she is in December, though. Let me quickly find it. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Is it maybe this? That means it's the thing above it. Yep. This is it. Millisane is going to be coming back. So something to kind of keep in, in mind. Um, and obviously some people really, really love Guda Guda. And Guda Guda also has Okita coming back. In uh, some banner. Well, the summer Okita, actually. Hmm. A lot of things to kind of wait for. And kind of see how things go. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the month, everyone. That's how it's looking for October. Not looking like the craziest month, but it's definitely um, gonna be fun because I like Halloween stuff and I really like the Halloween list things. So I will gladly be happy and enjoy my good old Halloween time. I was always sad that they took away Halloween and there was no Halloween. I know I understand that Halloween is celebrated and seen a little bit different in Japan. But I still like that there was something to celebrate Halloween in JP, and I'm glad that they kind of bring it back. And they have been bringing it back, and hopefully on JP we get another version of it <laughs> this year as well. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. I guys, wish you guys the best of luck if you decide to summon. There will probably be a summon for um, Liz when she comes back for this one, so I can go for Zenobia and Jacques de Molay. Um there will likely be a summon video for that, and then there will likely not be another one until December for when Melo Sand comes out. And yeah, that's it, everyone. Thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. Um, thanks again for all the support. If you made it all the way to the end here, remember, please leave a like and comment and subscribe. It helps out the channel a whole bunch. I'll see you guys next time. And before I go, did you guys know... They used this, the 4CE art for Emia on the Emia Wikipedia page. <laughs> uh, don't ask me why. I was looking up Shiro Emia on Wikipedia <laughs> and I saw that they used this, the fake art art for rejection. <laughs> and if you actually go to the Google search, you see them there. So that's the last thing I want to leave it off on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, you guys have a good day. Peace out. Bye.